I was asked a question just now by one of my uh, friends who comes to the nursery quite often, and he noticed that this maple had two coloured leaves. So he said, how come this maple has got two leaves, two, two different types of leaves? So, uh, for those who know something about maples, if you look closely at this tree, let me explain. This is a grafted tree. You can see the graft there. And that is what we call the parent tree or the understock. So this red part was grafted onto the green part. And because there was a small shoot here, this grew on and became a strong tree. So if you're not careful, this green part, which is the understock, can take over and become the main tree. And the top of this tree would probably get weak and die. So rather than cut it off, what I can do is I can easily air lay this and get another tree from it and then cut it down to there. So that is what I'm going to do with this tree. It looks rather nice, but it shouldn't really be allowed to grow there, you know, unless you want to grow it as a novelty. So this begs the question, what happens when you have trees which have these two colored leaves? Many people are confused by this. Let me give you a good example. If you follow me here, you see all these maples are in different stages of growth. And this particular maple, if I just mentioned, you look at it, it's such an interesting maple. These young leaves are so beautiful. If you come close and take a close view, they're like little claws. Um, I can't remember the exact name of it. I have to consult my maple book, but my memory is getting a bit bad. But both of these trees are like that. But you can see the leaves. As they emerge, they get bigger. So this tree has got two different types of leaves. Another maple which has got different types of leaves is a maple called Shichigosan or Shigosan. Shigosan means three, four and five. So on the same tree you will get leaves that have got three lobes, five lobes and sometimes seven lobes. You know that means fingers. So that is a tree that has got different types of leaves on the same tree. Very often you can get a situation like this tree. Now this is a massive great tree. Look at it. It's huge. Now if you look carefully, this side of the tree has emerged and it is green. And this side of the tree is a bronze color. Now this tree is not grafted. I can assure you it's not grafted. That is all the trunk. It's just that because they've got two trunks and because maybe there's more root on this side so they uh, nutrient is going up this part of the tree quicker than going to this side. So because it is pumping more liquid to this left hand side and slow pumping to this side, so you get the foliage opening out at different times. So there may be like maybe one or two weeks difference, maybe two weeks difference between this side opening and this side opening. But I can assure you this is the same tree. It's just that the new leaves are this bronzy color. You can see the more mature leaves coming out. That is more green. So this is a situation where these are not grafted trees, but because they are separate trunks, you will get the different color of the leaves. But usually speaking, most maples are uh, not fussy like this. You will get situations where uh, you will get maybe a slightly different color. And let me explain to you what happens when you put different trees together. Many of you know that trees like this are what we call multi-trunk trees or kabudachi. And these multi-trunk trees, very seldom in Japan are they produced from one tree. You can produce it by cutting a tree down and then it will sprout from the base with several stems and trunks and you will get a multi-trunk tree. But more often than not, they combine the trees together when they're young. They get three or four or five young seedlings, tie them at the base, and then they grow big and they fuse at the bottom. So these trees are produced this way. And I've seen situations where, because there are different trees tied together, you may get one tree in the autumn red, another tree yellow, and another tree green. So this is the problem. When you do multi-trunk trees with different trees, you will get this difference in color. So making multi-trunk trees, this is a very common way of doing it. Let me show you some other species while we're talking about multi-trunk trees. I will show you some uh, Japanese, no, Korean hornbeam I have here.
Now this Korean hornbeam will look like a multi-trunk tree, but it is produced by putting together one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven trees together, tying it together, and it becomes like a tree that has several trunks naturally. But again, you can see clearly how it's made. It's just that there are several trees bunched together to make it look like a multi-trunk. So this is a very common way of doing it. I will also show you with the beech. You will have seen it. It's one of my earlier YouTube videos. If you follow me, I will show you. In fact, I have two examples. There is this one. They're both beaches. This is a beach that was made maybe 30 years ago, two separate trees. And in fact, when it comes into leaf, you will notice that they leaf at different times of the year. I mean, that's about two or three week difference. So they were two trees tied together when young and it's formed a twin trunk. Now this I did only about maybe say nine months ago in the middle of summer and you can see with the wire I've tied it together to put two quite indifferent looking trees. They were not very promising but when you put it together it begins to look more interesting. So this is how you can make multi-trunk trees. So the point I'm trying to make is if you make these multi-trunk uh, trees either double trunk or triple trunk or five trunk make sure you use the same clone. This one you can already see, because they're separate trees, when it grows together and fuses together, it looks like one tree, but you can see the difference. This one is much further ahead than this one. And this is because I've used two separate trees. And who knows, the autumn color might also turn out different. So just a little talk about trees that may have different trunks and stems, but uh, there are different situations and each situation is different.